What is up, guys? One more scene bringing you guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best stage for Washington football nation. Now, today we are going to be talking about our signing of Curtis Samuel, former Carolina Panther, former Ohio State Buckeye, former roommate of our very own Terry McLaurin. He's now on the Washington football team. When we went into free agency, I had a kind of a list. I should have made a video talking about what I really wanted in free agency. I just didn't get to it. But one of the things I really wanted was us to get Curtis Samuel. He's so fast. He already has a little bit of chemistry with Terry McLaurin. And I just felt like with Ron, there's already that trust there with Scott. And so I was like, this is a signing we should make. And thank goodness we did. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see this come into play. Look, I know a lot of people are like, what about Cam Sims? He really stepped up to the plate. Well, yeah, we still got Cam Sims. I said, but look, Cam Sims, you know how good he played last year? You know how good he played? Now he's a deaf player. And he's not just going to be in when Curtis Samuel or Terry get tired. He's going to get in a good rotation. And the other receivers will get into the rotation. You know, Gandy Golden hopefully will get into that rotation this year. As well as many others. Steven Sims is slot, so that's why I'm kind of not putting him in that um, list because he's slot. But Curtis Samuel, I mean, there's not a crazy amount to say on him, but he is fast. Lightning fast. Running a 4-3, I believe, or late 4-2. I don't know. But here's something else. We've played a lot of bootlegs and jet sweeps slash in end rounds with Steven Sims. We tried a few times with Isaiah Wright or who else did we do it with? We did it a little bit with Terry and we did it with Cam a few times. This guy did it routinely in Carolina where he would be lined up at running back or he would do a jet sweep and would actually burn the defense. And we said, that means we have two of those guys now. Gibson and Samuel. One is a receiver turned running back for Gibson. One is a receiver who can very much play running back, which is Samuel. And I am just thrilled to have Curtis Samuel in the burgundy and gold. I'm excited to see it. I think it's going to be electrifying to see him and Terry on the field. Had those two guys who, we, who teams both know can be excellent route runners and also burn you we finally we are finally thank goodness found a guy that will make teams get off of terry terry was being double or triple covered this year just like chase was being double covered or triple covered you know opposite side of the ball but same principle we finally have somebody somebody who can take that pressure off of terry and really just Give Terry the ability to shine more, Curtis the ability to shine more, because defense is going to be like, well, which one of these are we supposed to get? They're both incredibly good and incredibly fast. Which one are we supposed to be covering? And that question is the greatest victory in our signing of Curtis Samuel. Because it started to turn that way towards the end of the season when Cam Sims was really heating up. But he was never, he never reached that peak level to where teams were like, we got to be covering him. And then you got this guy who comes in, and defenses are going to be like, we got to cover one of these guys. I'm thinking this is the one we need to be covering, but I'm not 100% sure because this guy is also very good. So having that ability to have the team be a, have some receivers that are going to put pressure on the defense to be like, who are we supposed to be covering? I don't understand who we're supposed to be covering. That worry, that questioning, makes me so happy inside. This is something I've wanted. I've wanted the ability for us to have a receiver that can really just draw defenses away and really be a deep threat, just a speed threat like we had with Deshaun Jackson. Because Terry McLaurin is super fast, but he always struck me more as a Garcon-type receiver. I don't know. I mean, he's that's the way he struck me. Because I've always said I want to see a level where we get to the new Jackson and Garcon. Or Jackson, Garcon, and Crowder. And if Steven Sims can just get back to this level he played previously, 
the McLaurin, Samuel, and Sims trio could be deadly, bro. Oh, that could be deadly. Oh, it could be just beautiful to watch. Football for Washington is going to be extremely exciting this year. And just, to, and just the addition of Curtis Samuel is enough to be like, this offense is on the map. Because we have Logan Thomas, Steven Sims, Cam Sims, Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Jay McKissick, Antonio Gibson, and Ryan Fitzpatrick or Taylor Heineke or Kyle Allen or somebody else. How are you not excited for this offense right now? If we can just get Trey Turner, whew, maybe a, we, our offense would be stacked, bro. And we can just get another tight end to pair with um, Logan Thomas, Whew. like we had with the, we had the Jordan Reed and Vernon Davis duo. I am hyped because I know what the team wants. I've heard things what the team wants, and it. And when I'm telling you what I just what I just told told you, I want it. Trust me when I say this, they want it too. I'm not just spitting this into the air. I'm saying this because I want it. And Washington wants it. And as a fan, you should want it too. Because Curtis Samuel just elevates our offense to a new level. His speed, his route run, his catching ability. Once you get him running, there's no catching him. And isn't that amazing? Whew. I'm hyped. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so notified every single time a brand new episode of Washington Station to the channel. I'm Amor, and I'm out. Stay safe. Peace.